You are now entering the realm of white hot business. This is where we get real about why what happens in the bedroom and your body is a reflection of your business confidence and visibility. I'm your host, sexologist and business mentor, Lauren White, and I'll guide you to become the sovereign, magnetic, and sensual woman that's available for more success and satisfaction. Access all areas. It's time to transform your business from lukewarm to white hot. You are unique. You are unique. You are one of a kind. You are one in eight billion. Why are you acting ordinary? Why aren't you allowing that incredibly unique voice of yours to be unleashed? This is one of the things that's cock blocking your sales in your business. Your capacity to sell in your business right now feels capped, maybe if it's even dwindling. You're really noticing a decline. You might have put this down to external circumstances. You say it's the economy. It's market saturation. There are so many people doing what I'm doing. It's that everyone else is doing this flashy thing on TikTok that I'm not prepared to do. I won't do that. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It's all about you and it's always been about you. More specifically, it's always been about your energy. The energy that isn't aligning to grow your sales is your throat energy. You're not selling at the level that you want to right now because you've not harnessed the uniqueness of your voice. This is lying dormant. This is towing the line. I'm pointing to my throat. This is towing the line. And what you're about to remember is that it's this that's the instrument that's selling your offers and services, whether you know or like it or not. You're doing the same old quote-unquote invitations when what you could and should be doing is this. Harnessing the uniqueness of your voice. And in order to harness the uniqueness of your voice, you need to look back for a moment. You need to look back at, first of all, what it is that you've sold well in the past with alignment, not just sold well and made money for the sake of it, but what really turned you on to sell in the past and look at how activated your throat was at that time in your business journey and in your life. What was going on there to have you sell something that felt so aligned for you? And you might need to dig deeper than your throat. What was going on in your sacral center? What was going on in your root? What was going on in your solar plexus? What was going on in your heart? What else was going on to have you selling through your throat, through your loudspeaker with ease? Put the pieces together. Not so that you can recreate those conditions, but so that you can take the themes of those conditions and bring them into the now. 
because it's going to look and feel different than it did then. It's not about replicating what you've already done. It's about elevating what you've done and how honoring how you've changed and bringing it into the now. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you need to look at what you've purchased in the last year or so and why. What was it beyond the offer that made it a full body yes for you? What was it? Because at some point you've forgotten that there's a parallel process between how you like to buy and how you should be selling. This is my personal take on business. I believe and I know for me there needs to be a parallel process between how I like to buy and how I like to sell. It's all got to feel like there's flow and there's consistency, that they're not radically different and worlds apart because something is out of alignment if that's happening in your world and it could be one of the reasons why you're not selling at the level that you want to. So before you go copying someone else's way of selling that you think looks good, would you actually buy that thing? And if you haven't bought that thing, then that is a stark clue that provides you actually a deep level of insight into why copying that approach won't work for you. You need to look at what you've bought. You need to dig into the why. You need to look at where their magnetism was at when they were selling it. You need to look at where where their throat energy was at when they were selling it. And you need to access the same threads that exist within your throat energy. As always, this is not copying. This is about looking at the frequency of their throat and asking yourself, if I was in that frequency in my throat, what would I sound like? What would I be selling? How would I be selling it? What words would I be using? What energy would I be bringing forward? In fact, what is the energy I want to bring forward with this offer? You need to dig deep. It is on you. This is what will grow your sales when you're feeling like you're at a standstill or sales are dwindling. It's always about your energy. Always. And if something that you've purchased in the past magnetized you, you need to ask, how could I magnetize my ideal clients in a similar way? And this is how I've bought and this is how I sell. And I've had way showers. What I do now is I hold my own version of that power and authority with the unique frequency of my voice. I am not a carbon copy of my current and former mentors. What they have given me is incredibly rich scaffolding, but what scaffolding needs to be solid and feel solid and embodied is my special source, is my unique frequency of turn on that I'm here to share with the world. And just yesterday, I had a former client say to me, no one speaks to me the way that you do. No one gives me the affirmation that you do. It's like you just know what to say. What my former client was referencing there was my uniqueness, the way that I stand out, the way that I've given myself permission to stand out 
in terms of what I stand for, how I speak, and the way that I say it. This uniqueness has been a passion project that I've crafted for years. I am not here to blend in or fit in, and neither are you. I could not think of anything more suffocating and draining of my life force energy than trying to be like everyone else. It repulses me. It feels so stagnant and limiting, stunted. If you want to be unique, you need to stand in the uniqueness of your voice and stop hiding. That uniqueness of your voice, your future clients should be making contact with that from the first time they come across your work. They should be gasping in this excitement and positive anticipation that you exist, you are here in the world. This is the effect that I have on women when they first come across me. (gasps) They say it to me. It's like relief and excitement because someone's speaking the language that they think but they haven't got the courage and conviction yet to speak to it. So how much does your uniqueness matter? It is imperative. Your uniqueness of your voice should be unwavering. And it will be unwavering when you stop using it as a rabbit that you pull out of the hat once in a while or at the end of a sales conversation that isn't going the way that you would like it to. Your unique voice is a constant from first contact on socials, a blog, your website, a podcast, guest or hosting. It's a constant that has that uniqueness. Here's the paradox. That uniqueness has your ideal clients feeling safe. When you're wavering with it, people go, what? Wait, what? Wait, she was just so, uh, and now she's, uh, and now she's doing shock value. And now, uh, that means that you're not anchored into the ownership of your uniqueness yet. If you're wavering and using it like a rabbit that you pull out of the hat in your business when you want to jolt people, I see it. And when I see it online, the energy of it is desperation and something in the person's nervous system needing to express or release where they're not anchored in, where they're not grounded. It's got to go somewhere and they've poured it into their business. Big mistake. So what we want for your unique voice is a consistent wave to for it to remain in a consistent bandwidth. But it's not stale and it's not boring and it's not stuck. I want to give you three ways that you can tap into the uniqueness of your voice using the power of self inquiry. Anyone who knows my work knows I love questions, I love asking questions. Several multimillionaires have said, You are the best question asker. I am an excellent question asker. And I'm an excellent and exceptional and expert question asker, mainly because I'm always asking myself questions. That's how I self-soothe and re-regulate is asking myself questions rather than judgment, berating, belittling, how come you didn't do this? I just ask myself a question. I'm like, are you getting off on this again? Really? And it nudges me along and keeps me evolving and it keeps me in the bandwidth and frequency of my uniqueness. 
And now I'm going to give you some incredible questions to tap into the uniqueness of your voice, which is there. It is unequivocally there. The first one is subtraction. What are you saying right now that's bland and cliche and what everyone else is saying? Look at some of what you've written or spoken in recent months and mentally highlight the ordinary, the -the run-of-the-mill words, the cliches, the well-worn sayings. Highlight them in your mind and ask, if I allowed this piece to be unique, what would it sound like? Or how would it read? If you subtracted the boring filler, the tiptoeing around the thing, what what words would you be left with? And you might be left with one sentence and there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe that is the thing. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's all you need to post. One line, iconic gets people's attention, says the thing, doesn't need justification. Uniqueness doesn't need to justify and it doesn't need to convince. It says the thing with a full stop. The second line of inquiry is around sovereignty. Can you pledge right now to become sovereign with your throat? To stand alone in your identity and your voice and to know that standing alone doesn't mean you are bereft, doesn't mean that you have been rejected, does not mean that you have been abandoned, doesn't mean that you don't need help, doesn't mean that you don't have partnerships and support. What it does mean is that you are f- willing to firmly stand in your own identity, which is your longest relationship. We can't add new ways of speaking and skills until you've anchored into your sovereignty, until you are in full ownership of your uniqueness, or at least on your way to starting to own parts of your uniqueness, if that feels like too much of a stretch. We can't go adding in skills on top of, but yeah, I'll just copy them, or but I'm still not worthy of this, or but I'm not unique, I'm boring, I'm just me, I'm, nope. Subtract again, subtract that and get down to the root and go, I'm a fucking weirdo. I know that no one thinks like this. I know that very few people think like this. I know that even fewer people are willing to live their life this way. I know that no one else has this exact story or these exact memoirs that I've created. They don't. No one does. No one has the exact same memoirs that you do. Stand sovereign, stand tall in that sovereignty and know that the uniqueness of your voice and the ownership of that is going to allow you to sell in your business and magnetise the women that want that for themselves and are drawn to that through your offer through your services. The third way that you can tap into the uniqueness of your voice is through satisfaction. Something I'm always doing, and I don't even realise it's a thing that other people might not be doing or probably aren't doing, (laughs) is when I say read or hear words, I check in with my 
satisfac- my inner satisfaction meter. If I feel a ding, 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 I write the word down somewhere or I put it in my notes app or I hold on to it in my mind or I put it in a journal. Like that word does something to me. That word evokes something in me. It, right now, I don't hear that word a lot or that phrase or that kind of, or an affirmation put in that way. It feels special. It feels elevated. It feels unique. It struck a chord in me. And if it struck a chord in me, then it's going to strike a chord in the women that are drawn to my services. This is all about selling because from that very first point of contact, you're selling who you are. You're selling the possibility of being in your world, of being in proximity to you. You might not be actively putting a price on it, but you are selling because this is a business. This is not a hobby that you have. This is not you just trying something out for size. This is your business. This is your vision. This is your lifeblood. And this needs to sustain you. Selling isn't always about money. What we need to do before we get to the selling and exchanging services for money is you need to get into these, into the uniqueness of your voice and to get into the power seat of feeling like you're always selling, even if you're not actively selling. You're selling who you are without convincing, without justifying and without feeling like you're pimping yourself or your identity out. I'm just trying to catch any little, (laughs) any little, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, (laughs) that your mind might throw up. This is your business. This is your brand. So what are you projecting? Where is your uniqueness? How can you say what no one else is saying? How can you clip what you're saying? How can you be even more succinct? How can you cut the fluff? How can you cut the filler? All killer, no filler is the way that I attempt. No, actually, the way that I speak, (laughs) going to own it. All killer, no filler is what I say to myself every time I write and every time I speak. All killer, no filler. I'm not here to waste your time. I'm here to give you the nectar. And now you get to give the nectar to your clients without trying to dilute everything with generic sayings that are well-worn and not even your own. Rewrite the cliches, add some serious spice to them, ignite interest, provoke curiosity. And you do this in your personal life and in your business. You do not split those personas. You access the uniqueness of your voice in your personal life and you've got a much better probability or it's inevitable actually that it will be able to come forth in your business and in your brand. Both. Both. I know that you want to use more of your speaking voice. I know that you want to amplify it. I know that you want to stand in full ownership of your uniqueness. I know that you want to be heard. If you know that speaking needs to be a bigger part of your business, but you're feeling blocked from taking action to get more speaking opportunities, to put yourself out there, 
I'm hosting a workshop especially for you. In 90 minutes, I'll show you exactly how to make speaking an exciting and profitable pillar of your business when it's historically felt daunting or anxiety provoking. What I've specifically done to become a better speaker and establish myself as an authority long before I had a podcast or got paid speaking gigs and what you can do too. How to spot aligned speaking opportunities and become a guest or contributor that hosts and organizers can't say no to. How to position and amplify yourself as a speaker in your business right now and energetic practices to open your throat so that you can express yourself with power, clarity, and full body alignment. To design your unique path to speaking with power and pleasure in your business, check out the link in the show notes and sign up to my workshop today. If you know speaking needs to be a bigger part of your business, but you're feeling blocked from taking action to get more speaking opportunities, I'm hosting a workshop especially for you. In 90 minutes, I'll show you exactly how to make speaking an exciting and profitable pillar of your business when it's historically felt daunting or anxiety provoking. What I've specifically done to become a better speaker and establish myself as an authority long before I had a podcast or got paid speaking gigs and what you can do too how to spot aligned speaking opportunities and become a guest or contributor that hosts and organizers can't say no to. How to position and amplify yourself as a speaker in your business right now and energetic practices to open your throat so that you can express yourself with power, clarity and full body alignment. To design your unique path to speaking with power and pleasure in your business, check out the link in the show notes and sign up today.